This is a Mohammed Fryer Phil TV proudly sponsored by Everas. We're in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Richard Torres Jr. Just signed with Bob Arum, top rank in ESPN. Uh, just yep. give me your initial reaction, Richard. I mean, I'm ecstatic. You know, I'm through the roof. Uh, this is something that everyone dreams about. You know, I can finally go and tell my friends I'm a professional. Yeah, of course, uh, a stellar amateur career, silver medalist, of course, in the in the Olympics. Just tell us a little bit about your overall amateur career. Just sum it up, Richard. Yeah, so I'm a third generational boxer. Uh, the first time I ever stepped in the ring, I was four years old. First time I won nationals, I was ten. Uh, first time I started competing internationally, I was 15. I haven't lost to the United States in the past nine years as an amateur. Uh, just worked my way up through the ranks. I wasn't the biggest, uh, but I, what I lacked for in size, I made it for in speed and power and, uh, and endurance. And uh, that was able to take me to the Olympics. And uh, I, I took a silver medal there, um, the first since 1988. And I am, uh, I'm proud of what I was able to accomplish. I mean, you've got USA written there. Yeah, you got I mean, all it. them accomplishments. You said about kind of the history you created. It's been such a long time. Do you feel like the uh, kind of nation's hopes are resting on you? Is that a big statement? <laughs> you know, they say pressure makes diamonds, right? I, I hope that the nation views me in that manner. Um, myself, however, I just, I'm going out there and I'm, I'm trying to prove to myself. I don't really have to prove it to the nation. I don't have to prove it to anybody else, but, but to myself that I am that guy. Mm. You know, and I am the one that... that is the next champion's the next legacy, you know? and I, I already told my mom that, I told my dad that, I told my sister that, so anyone now that's trying to step in the way is going to call me a liar, and I'm a man of my word. Did you uh, meet Bob Aaron for the first time today? I met him uh, a couple months ago, but I was able to talk to him a little bit more uh, today, and that, that was it was always a pleasure hearing him and his stories and all the things that other fighters have done for him and he's done for the fighters, you know, he's, he's a living legend. Where do you think Bob and Top Rank can take you? I think that Top Rank and Bob Arum build legacies. You know, I've seen it time and time again from, you know, any household name that you know has started with Top Rank. And I, I think that's a testament to what Top Rank's been able to do and Bob Arum's been able to do. And I think they will be able to do the same for me. Okay, we look forward to it. Just tell us a little bit about what happened in that final, Richard. You know, I went out there, I won the first round. Um, I fought a, a taller guy and uh, it's, a, it's illegal to duck below the belt line in the amateur boxing. I got a point deducted for me for, for ducking below the belt line, and uh, it changed the fight a little bit. You know, I, I went out there and I gave my all, and Styles make fights. That wasn't my fight. So, uh, looking forward to it. I, I'm, I'm very glad I'll be able to go more rounds. I'm very glad I'll be able to sit down with punches more. And I think I have a, a illustrious pro style. I think that'll, that'll last that'll last the days in, in the pro career. Um, a little harder for the amateur career to, to be able to sit on my punches and I'm really excited to be able to do that in the pros. Well, we look forward to that professional debut. When are we uh, expecting that, Richard? Uh, hopefully early next year, so okay. uh, maybe around February. Perfect. Well, listen, great to get you on IFL TV. Awesome. And uh, yeah, as I said, we look forward to the pro debut, all right? Thank you so much. Thank you.